Hello friends. For math today, we're gonna to do a quick little review again, and then we're gonna lead into our lesson. So today, if you have um, a marker board or a marker, if you have anything laying around that you could use to count with like pennies or buttons or cubes, anything you could find to count with, that would be great. If you don't have any of those things, that's fine. You can just sit and watch my video, okay? Let's look at what I have on the board. I have two groups here, and these are pennies. Remember, pennies are coins that are worth one cent. Just by looking at my two groups, can you tell which group has more? And can you tell which group has less? Sometimes we can just tell by looking at them. I can tell that this group over here has more and this group over here has less. The group that has less is smaller than the group that has more, which is bigger. Sometimes it's really easy to tell. But then sometimes if we take some of these away and we look at these two groups again, sometimes they're so close, it's hard to know which group has more and which group has less. So we've also worked on finding a match or a partner and matching them up to find out. So this one can match with this one, this one with this one, this one with this one, this one, and this one. Uh-oh, I don't have another one over here. So this group right here has more than this group over here does. So remember, that's another way that we can tell when there's more. We can find a partner and match them up. Well, today we're gonna learn another strategy for how to tell if there's more than or less than. You can draw it. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do, if you have those counting objects, go ahead and get them out. And if you happen to have a dice, sitting around at home that you can get out, that would be great as well. But if not, don't worry about it. You can just watch me, all right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my pennies out of the way and I'm gonna roll a dice. This dice has numbers on it. And I'm gonna look, oh, the first one I roll is how many, boys and girls? Six, isn't it? So I'm gonna find a tower of six. Let's see if this one is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I lucked out, I didn't have to add any. Now I'm gonna roll again and see what number I get. How many is that, boys and girls? Four. So at home, if you can make a tower of six with your items and then make another tower of four with your items, go ahead and do that. Snap them together. So there's my two towers. Which one do you think has more? This one, right? It has more. It's taller than this one, isn't it? So six is more than four. Now, if I take my towers and turn them into trains like this, choo-choo, we would still say that this train tower of six is more than this train tower of four. We can see that the six tower train is longer than the four one. Now, this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll and then I want us to practice drawing a tower of six and a tower of four. So that's where your marker or your pen, whatever you have will come in handy. So let's see what we're gonna draw first. Oh, that one's easy, one. So go ahead on your board and draw a tower of one. You can just draw one square like that. Next, we're gonna roll again. What did I get again? I got four, didn't I? So this time I'm gonna make a tower with four in it. Now, when we draw it, it's easy to see that the tower of four is more than the tower of one. And even if I turn my tower and make it into a train, you can still see that the tower of four is more than the tower of one. Let's try another one. So erase your board or find a new spot on your piece of paper. I'm gonna roll her up again. Two. So go ahead and draw your tower of two. 
two blocks and then I'm going to roll another one. How many is that, boys and girls? Six, isn't it? So now I'm going to draw my tower of six. Remember, we are not artists, so just do the best you can. Count it and make sure that you have six. So which group has more? This group or that group? Well, when we draw it, we can see that the tower of six is more than the tower of two. We would say that six is more than two. And it would still be the same if I turned it this way. Six would still be more than two. All right, if you can at home, I have attached a paper for you to practice. If you cannot print this out, that is okay. You can just practice on a piece of paper at home with mom and dad and they can help you. What you're gonna do is you're gonna draw a tower with more cubes. So just like we did when we drew our tower just a second ago, it already drew our tower right here. So we have a tower of three. And it's wanting you to draw a tower that has more than three. So you can pick any number that you want as long as it's more than three. It has to be taller, it has to be bigger than three. So then whatever you draw there, say you draw four, you would put four right here, because remember the bigger number goes first when you're talking about more than. Four is more than, and then you would put your three. Now, this paper also talks about which tower is less than. Remember, the tower that is less than is smaller, just like two is less than six. So on the next one, you would draw a, a train that has fewer or less cubes than they drew for you. If you have any questions, please contact your teacher and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye, my friends.